Hey there, it's Jonathan with Car Generator. A lot of people ask, what kinds of things can Car Generator power? So I wanted to give you a real example today of a bunch of different things in our trailer that Car Generator can power and show you exactly how much power they take. They take things like blenders, coffee makers, um, coffee grinders, all kinds of good things. Cool. So the first thing I want to show you is how much a TV and a satellite dish will take. So we have a full mobile satellite dish on here and it's got the receiver inside here. It's got a power antenna on the roof and uh, this is showing you we got satellite and let's have a look. We are using 75 watts is what this is using. So that's example number one. Let's shut that off. Example number two is your fridge like this running on yes there's cold beer in the fridge yay um, the second example is your fridge running on electric power instead of gas most RV fridges can run on gas propane or on electric power so running on electric power I just switched it over and it'll kick in in a moment and it is using 340 watts approximately a fridge an RV fridge will run 300 watts I don't usually run it because it takes hardly any gas to run it on gas and it's much more efficient so but just to give you an idea an RV fridge running on electric takes about 300 watts roughly now let's have a look we shut off the fridge put it back into gas mode Hang in a minute while we're doing that While we're doing that, I'm going to get out whoops, a coffee grinder. Oh, yeah. It's using 61 watts. That is using, sorry, one second. Uh, it is using 61 watts. What the hell is it plugged in? Oh, TV. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. We already got the TV, right? Thank you. <coughs> is that one shut off? Everything shut off about that? down to about 24 now so that's good um, okay so let's show you a coffee I'm gonna do a coffee maker now <clears throat> so an electric light okay I'll just show you the coffee maker first um, coffee grinder and a maker okay we're gonna I'm going to grind up some fresh beans for your java and this you can do if you're in a trailer or if you're camping in a tent but here we're going to put some fresh beans in the grinder and we're going to grind them up let's see how many watts that uses ready and we're using 123 watts give or take approximately and the best part about this smell of fresh coffee mmm look at that the smell of fresh coffee there's nothing like it so next I'm gonna show you how much power it takes to make a cappuccino an espresso first and then a cappuccino watch this we're gonna start up the espresso maker this is an espresso I think Inicia or something and we're gonna put a lovely pod in there it's still warming up and you can see it's using 955 watts is what it's using so that's about how much this one uses some of them are a bit bigger sometimes they require 12 or 1300 watts but this particular one needs about 900 so now when we actually make the coffee we're going to do this beautiful a uh, beautiful cappuccino cup there and there we go and we are using 720 watts and now it's down to 70. So it runs the pump and the heater in the coffee machine. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. That's something to wake up to right there. So an espresso maker, about a thousand watts. That's how much it takes. Now, as I make for my lovely wife every morning, a cappuccino. So I take this beautiful frother here, which is the fabulous. I love this. This thing is awesome. It makes me look like a super pro. Pour some lovely fresh milk in there, stick it on the base, and fire it up. And we are using 426 watts, approximately. 
So we are using 400 and... Four hundred and twenty watts. Now we get that'll turn steaming in just a minute. Oh, well, that's steaming. I believe I'll have myself. A beer. That, my friend, is the best part of camping, or one of them. Okay. And all of this is off-grid, by the way. Not connected to any power source. This is running off the car generator. How cool is that? So now I have, we, have, we have nice, hot, foamy froth. I'm going to pour it in. There we go. Look at that thing. A nice big fat cappuccino. Yum! My wife gets one of those every morning, as many as she wants. Anyways, there's a good cappuccino right there. Um, and this is running off the car generator. So that gives you an idea of the, those kinds of things. Um, what else would people want to run? A blender? Uh, give me one second. What things do people want to run? I'm thinking. A laptop is nothing. Toast. You can make it over the fire, which is fun. But if you just get up in the morning, you want to have a toast without making a fire and everything else, pull your toaster with car generator, and here's how much power it needs. Put my toast in my toaster and start it up. And we are at 600, 700 watts, roughly. Around 638 watts. <clears throat> so that's how much a toaster requires to run. So there you go. That's how much car, car generator can run. A toaster, a coffee grinder, a coffee maker, all kinds of great things, and it's all running from the power of your car. It's Jonathan with CarGenerator.com. Thanks.